and then let's go ahead and perform the query. And that's basically so I'm gonna say result equals mysql underscore query and then brackets quotations and then we're gonna say uh, select the from and then the table that we created was user or users I think I'm gonna double check that so yeah the table we created was users um, and then we're going to add a where statement. So this is saying select everything from users where, and I want to say username equals. And then we're going to add and actually let's change this to double quotes. I'll make it easier on you. So we're going to say username equals and then username with the dollar sign, which will inject our username that is set from here. Just gonna make a line for this, and let's say after that put and password equals password, which will inject our password that we have here. But make sure you have double quotes, or else um, the dollar sign password will not be included correctly. So now that we if we have our actual results, we can just simply do um, if not results. Um, and then we can do our error check in here. So basically we're saying that if there is no result, so nothing is returned, we're going to set our error. And instead of using the echoes here, we're actually going to just set a session variable. So, session. Um, then we're going to say error. Equals. And let's go ahead and put this in here. And then login failed with the span and stuff. Um, so, and then else, so we're, if there is a result, then they did actually, they were actually able to, I'm going to start to erase all this stuff, they were actually able to log in. So, then we can set the username to that as well, or actually, um, instead of just setting username to username, we also want to get the ID that was created for that username, just in case. So. We do. We can do row equals, and then we do mysql fetch. And there's a couple fetches you can do. You can do um, numbers, which is purely numbers, and, and then there's associates, which we're going to use association. I mean, and basically it gives us an array, or you can use um, object which is just basically fetch object and then we add in the result that we fetch it from so now if we wanted to add in the session here say session um, user id equals row and then id is what we name the column here so if you again if you go to id it should equal to ID, but if that's using fetch object, um, for the most part, we're just going to go ahead and use fetch associate since it's a little bit easier for you to understand if you're dealing with arrays. And that would be the result for a fetch an associate instead.